We're here in chilly and Dicka Springs, Colorado, where the air is thin and the smoke is thick. It's Pop Brownie Day here at Sold Out No Authority Field. And the crowd is fired up for some football after an intense pregame screening of 2001 A Space Odyssey. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The New Orleans Zombies battle. The Mile High Chronic. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. dirt sandwich oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl <laughs> second down the size of bricks wiener hey sorry partner he's not going down i think the defenders are scared of this guy bricks and they have every right to be And it's first and ten. Oh, oh. oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. Second down in a very lot. And he's running like a moose right now. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed it. He dives and fumbles the ball. And no one's going to his ship after the game. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. train those things to eat only visiting players but when they're hungry they'll eat anything yeah sometimes i eat my toenails and it's first and ten Second down in a lot. Oh. 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 
Hooks one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And he picks up maybe four on that play. <laughs> don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Second down and inches. Oh. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Second down and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Seven yards on that play. Third down and long. I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Now oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Yeah, man, a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. First and ten. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and long. Third down and the punter is warming up. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his 
receive. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second down and nine. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and six. The receiver didn't stand a chance. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch. And he turns it on the afterburners. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an intercept. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. But it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. And that'll give him four more downs to punch. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! I don't know if we can have it! First and four. And into the oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's first.
first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on signs and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. The Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brixton. It means he can return it for me. You know what? Never mind. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Pow, with the brain scrambler. Second down and seven. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he's off to the races. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab 
grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Wham! Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite him. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and ten. so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's on those power and green, like a haiku! Now this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Turn here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. The way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two. He is fighting. Oh, nice hit. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? 
And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Rick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, he just got crushed. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, man. I was on the concourse grabbing some food and there was this mutant leopard line and he left in an angry hot. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. Before he caught it, you gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And there's an eight yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and two. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Pussy here. Oh, game to mad kill. Kill on up, get on the gun, get on the gun, get on the And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and hits upfield. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh, 
Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Yeah, It's first and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And that'll be second down and four. Defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the puck. He's not going down. Boom! Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. down and long. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and score. Oh, and he just left an outline on the... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, he just got crushed. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. First down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. 
And this is a great nine yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. This is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Yeah. Nice extra effort there. First in the three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And little known facts, Orcs invented the war dance because people just in general assume everything they do is bloodthirsty and aggressive. And they are not wrong. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. It's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down him talk, so he out it comes up. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second down and more than the QB would like. And these guys are not giving the quarterback many passing lanes to hit a receiver. Nice block by the defense there. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hey man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Now oh, the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton. Got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a Greek. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. <laughs> We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. He could go all the way. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mom, then that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. 
third and four. If you don't hear it coming, he's off to the races. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First down and five. Great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And he picks up four on that passing catch. And that'll bring up third and one. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake straight through the uprights the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having it accepted, though. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and, well, good luck. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the 
freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Ah, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Well, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Take a punishing hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horses out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. There are no more receivers, so it's game over next time the offense takes the field. If the other team punts, that's the game, right, Ben? That's right, Bricks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score and he put the jets on and caught him from behind and it's first and ten he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. With no players left on their roster and an empty bag of weed, the Mile High Chronic loses by forfeit. Next time, maybe they'll practice a little harder and cheat a little more. Freaking idiots. This is the NFL. You're supposed to cheat. Won't that be a lesson to them? Let's go over to the MVP. Yeah, you see that bull, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.